Have you ever noticed the use of ovals in logos? I started paying attention to this about 20 years ago, and I've come to the conclusion that it's no coincidence the elements that they're using with ovals and the meaning behind it. And just to cut to the chase, get to the point, make a long story short, I'm making the case that the, the oval is used as a signature of Satan's eye, as well as the family circle of Satanism, and as a beast mark. Now, the reason why I came to this conclusion is because of the other elements used with ovals, namely a serpent slit pupil, which communicates the idea that an oval is representing the eye of that old serpent, the devil, and as the red dragon mentioned in Revelation 12, 3 through 9. Then there's also two crescent moons used with ovals, which is derived from a satanic idol called the Baphomet. This image of the Baphomet has two crescent moons. One is above and one's below. The one above is a white crescent moon and the one below is a black crescent moon. And uh, the Baphomet itself really is kind of a veiled insinuation of the image of a beast because it's a humanoid uh, male and female human figure representing man and as a goat head as a, a beast it's got like wings it's got a uh, you know goat head with horns and it's got like a candle on top of his head and stuff you can google the baphomet and see what it is but ultimately these two crescent moons from the baphomet are used with ovals and i think it's interesting that the baphomet being a veiled reference of the image of the beast that's not to say that it is the image of the beast but that it insinuates that and that it, these two crescent moons are used with ovals with the intent and purpose to communicate that the oval is used as a beast mark. And they use two rings, which means marriage, which means family, which insinuates that the oval is the family circle of Satanism or the Masonic circle, the brotherhood. And uh, I think it's more than just Masonic family circle. Uh, I think that's just one minor element or way of looking at it. Uh, it's, it's more than that. It would be the global family circle of Satanism. And Freemasonry is really just one other door to get in there. Um, there's a the thick and thin aspect, which you see in this oval, the black one. It's thin on one side, thick on the other. This means loyalty to the family circle through thick and thin. And then there's the triple slash beast mark, which clearly communicates the idea when used with ovals that the oval is the same thing as this triple slash beast mark used with it. So you can find this stuff everywhere. Over here on the wall, you can see the oval. It's tilted because it insinuates the idea of as above, so below. The pyramid inside of it depicts the serpent slit pupil of that old serpent, the devil, Satan, the red dragon. Let's take a look at the water cooler. Notice the vertical elliptical design here. And inside, at the top, You'll see another oval tilted again. And at the bottom right of it, you see the triple slash beast mark element associated with the oval ring. And at the top left, you can see the overlapping two crescent moons design aesthetic. A little lower, you see the familiar partial thick and thin oval ring. Nobody really ever questions why that's there or what the purpose is, but it's absolutely everywhere when you know what you're looking at pay attention to look for it. A little bit lower we have the prominent letter V depicting the serpent slit pupil of that old serpent the devil and the red dragon. All these elements combined together in this design communicating the idea of the eye of Satan, the family circle of Satanism, and the beast mark. Even this, the cup 
for this water machine and to make your coffee it has the two crescent moons as above so below forming an oval absolutely ubiquitous even dawn it's an elliptical oval thick and thin you can see the plastic the clear plastic around the sticker reiterates the uh, oval design there again so over here you look at the center of this card reader it's an oval with the radio frequency waves actually depicting the beast mark and there's a right hand there this is associated with buying and selling um, if you just understand what you're looking at this stuff is absolutely everywhere and it's really alarming um, now I can get into a lot, of, a lot of other logo designs but I think the takeaway here is that people need to become aware of what this is Christians in particular so they can understand the day and the hour that we're in what's happening around us um, for me, it was like waking up one day and realizing there's swastikas embedded everywhere and that we're, we've been taken over by the Nazis. It's like that, but worse. This is on a biblical level here. We're talking about the beast mark. Buying and selling. And these, communi these uh, companies are communicating back and forth to each other that they're part of this family circle and that they're allowed to participate in this uh, buy and sell system and uh, it'll probably become more and more of a death grip uh, feeding trough situation and how this becomes implemented and even if this is not the mark of the beast it's really important to take note that this is the intent and purpose the direction they're marching in once you understand what they're doing with this how they're using this oval to represent the eye of Satan, the family circle, and a beast mark. So it really can't be uh, just dismissed and say, oh, well, that's not the mark of the beast. Yeah, well, maybe it isn't. But they're definitely trying to go there, and it's global. So that's very alarming in and of itself. So just some food for thought. Um, you know, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, click like. I need to get these videos like seen. There needs to be a mass consciousness awakening, awakening to this information immediately. You know, I've been talking about this, I've been aware of it, trying to get this into uh, the hands of different preachers and uh, Christian churches. I'm approaching 20 years now with nearly no success. I've seen people like understand what I show them and then just kind of like fade back into the matrix or whatever you know just completely forget i have to tell them again and they're like what oh yeah okay i remember you told me about that you know just totally dead basically so what are you going to do with this information you know try to like let your church know about it let your pastor know about it pray about it get ready get right with god understand what this is and what it means and what comes with the mark of the beast as far as the day and the time that we're in it can't be long now before it all really hits the fan it just can't keep going on like it is all right food for thought